Howdy folks. So a fairly common problem is where do my pages live in WordPress? If you're brand new to WordPress, a page is like an about page is the most common example, I think. And we have one here on the site um, about coffee. So this is an about page. And the first thing to know is that WordPress is a CMS. So it lets you edit pages easily from the web. You don't have to like get into an FTP server or anything like that. So I can click edit on this page. Um, and if I go to the WordPress dashboard, I can see a list of all my pages right there. So that's one answer for where WordPress stores pages is in your sidebar, go to pages and you'll see the pages there. Possibly you're thinking in a different way and you're wanting to go a level deeper. So a level beneath, hey, use the WordPress admin area to administer your WordPress site. We get into this thing, uh, a tool called PHP uh, My Admin. And this requires that you understand a few things. One is that WordPress sites typically use a MySQL type database. Um, I am hosting this Loki Coffee Snob site on SiteGround and to get to this tool PHP My Admin, I go to Site, MySQL, PHP My Admin, and I click Access PHP My Admin. And in this, I basically get to view what's called the WordPress database. And the database is basically where WordPress stores things that aren't media files. So in here, I have sort of the options of my site, which is things like my site name, my blog description, all of those kinds of things are in here. And additionally, there's this WP posts. In my case, it's LKCS because I changed what's called the database prefix. But most commonly, you'll see this table as uh, WP underscore posts in this list. And what this table contains is essentially all your WordPress posts. Here's a trick you might not know. WordPress pages are secretly within the database and a lot of other WordPress functionality, they're posts. So if I want to see the about page, right, let's go visit the about page on the site. What I can actually do here is, I, you can see that this has our aspiration with this. What I can do is I can actually search my database for post content, sorry, I missed it, like our aspiration is. And then if I click go, automatically I'm using PHP my admin and the underlying MySQL to see all of the um, versions of our page. And what you're actually looking at here is that WordPress stores by default on most hosting, it stores revisions. So you can see I have one page that is published, the rest are inherent. Uh, the post name here is 22-revision v1, um, as opposed to uh, being the actual slug for the post. So this is actually where our about page lives. If I look at this post underscore content field, um, and I'll get this as big as I can, you can see that here our latest post is a thing we put at the top of it. And then we have why low key. And this is actually how Gutenberg posts, that is to say with the new block editor, how they look under the hood. But so that is actually where WordPress store stores posts at the most fundamental level. It is a bundle of text that goes in your MySQL database that you might access with a tool like phpMyAdmin. I also have over here this tool SQL Pro um, that I like to use. It's kind of old. It's only Mac on the Mac and it honestly crashes on me more than I'd like, but I love that its icon looks like pancakes. <laughs> and on that note, that is where WordPress stores posts. Cheers.